Hello my loves, welcome back. Today I'm coming to you guys with my first impression slash first impressions review on the 3D HD Kabuki brush from Sigma and I wanted to pick up this brush because it kind of looks a little gimmicky and you kind of want to try it. Well I did at least. So I finally gave in and for Cyber Monday I ended up picking up this brush amongst others and I'm just going to be showing you guys a demo on how I apply my foundation using this brush and of course you guys have seen me use my <laughs> my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush which is my all-time favorite. I have one in my kit and I have two for my own personal use and I absolutely love it. They're both filthy so they gotta get clean. Um, so this one I cleaned off of course I used it for this makeup look that I have on today. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my demo and then I'll come back and give you guys kind of like my overall review on this brush. So if you want to see how this Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush applies uh, my foundation, just keep on watching. Okay loves, of course I did my eye makeup already, but I have already moisturized and added a little bit of primer. And I used the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow on the high points of my cheek and the central parts of my face because that is my drier areas anyway. And that's where I need the makeup to kind of go on smoothly and stick. So this is like a nice addition to get that glow, especially during the winter. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. And this is in the shade Nude. Now this is a new foundation, so I will be trying it out today for the first time as well. Just adding one pump and take it with my finger and place it where I want on the face. I have broken out something serious. I have some hives and some blemishes, some bumps. Ugh, just I feel disgusting. I really do. So I cleaned off the brush already with some 91% isopropyl or alcohol and I'm going to go ahead and just put this on. <laughs> this feels very similar, obviously, to the F80 Kabuki brush. Oh, I like this. I like how it goes up under the eyes. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't have any problem. I could definitely see the benefits of having a brush like this. Especially when you already do your makeup already. I don't know if you guys can see. I just kind of went like underneath my eye makeup without getting my eyeliner. I always get my eyeliner and I always got to retouch it. So the shape feels weird. It's kind of hard. <laughs> kind of well it's not hard to get used to I think once you you know have a technique on how you apply your foundation I think you'll be okay I did not pick up the precision brush because I just feel like I don't use the ones that I have and I do love the way that this goes around my nose I like how it goes up like I don't know Maybe it's a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and conceal and use the same brush to stipple it in like I normally do. I'm telling you, these hives are killing me. I'm just going to take the brush and do what I normally do with my F F80 Kabuki brush. I forgot the brush. Hey guys, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I will get back to you guys soon with my final thoughts on this brush. Okay loves, now that my makeup is applied, I can give you my overall first impressions on this brush. And I am pretty straightforward when it comes to brushes. I have specific needs. I just like particular brushes. Some I like, some I don't like. There is no in between with me. There's not like eh whatever there's really not much in between with me when it comes to brushes so as you guys know my f80 kabuki brush is one that i highly recommend if you're investing in any sigma brushes they have the rounded um one they have they have this one which is the f86 so they have the tapered this i like for concealer this i like for foundation and now they have the 3d hd which came out a few months ago um now as you can see it's kind of shaped like a pointed taper 
I don't know, it's a tapered point. I must say that it is just like my F80 Kabuki. It's densely packed, but it moves around very nicely. It buffs in that foundation beautifully. Because I've been doing my eyeshadows first lately, because I've just been using my tape method to apply my eyeliner because I'm just lazy lately. So this was perfect for getting right under the um, eyeliner for getting around my brows with that which I had already done and you could see in the video and for getting around my nose which is kind of like a problem spot with me I went ahead and applied concealer as you can see also in the video and it just buffed it in beautifully just the same as the F80 Kabuki brush I actually must say I'm glad I picked this up um, this might be taking over <laughs> my F80 Kabuki brush, we'll see. I will be testing it out for the rest of the week just to see how it holds up. I'm assuming it'll hold up the same way, it's built the same way. It is just tapered differently. So I will say that this was worth the investment for now. I will say that I do like it almost instantly. I just, I mean, I thought it was gimmicky, but it works. It just works. It just gives you that nice flawless application. You can buff it in just like the F80. So it's really all on preference. So I don't know about the Precision um, 3D HD brush because obviously I didn't pick that up. But that would be perfect for those that love the smaller brushes to get, you know, around concealer areas and, and small spots and stuff like that. Um, I do not have small eyes. I have big old eyes. So this is just perfect for getting right under the eye. And as you can see, it just it's perfect for me, and I'm happy I picked it up. Of course, I picked it up in the white. Kind of wish I got the black, but overall, this is a brush I recommend trying. Yeah, I'm actually impressed. So that's pretty much it for my first impression slash review on the Sigma uh, 3D HD Kabuki brush. So I hope this was insightful and that you guys see how this works and maybe you can decide if this is a brush for you or not or I don't know. <laughs> so guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.